Let's get right to Frederick Douglass with what happened here. Two weeks ago, gunfire at Frederick Douglass High School right in West Baltimore. And tonight, the, for the first time, we're hearing from the staffer who was gunned down in a struggle with an intruder. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on that story for us tonight. Jeff? Well, Kelly, his name is Michael Marks, and he risked his life and took two bullets protecting the students when that armed man entered the school. Yet he's angered that failures in the school's security protocols nearly cost him his life. We have seen images of the chaos from outside Frederick Douglass High School after a gunman opened fire on a teacher. And today, the shooting victim, Michael Marks, gives us his account of the struggle for his life. When I was on my way to lunch, I just seen a guy pacing going side to side, peeking, looking down the hallways. When I walked up, uh, I asked the young man, can I help you? And he said, uh, no. That's when 25-year-old Neil Davis pulled out a gun, aimed it between his eyes, and fired the first shot, which narrowly missed his ear. By the time Marks had wrestled the gun away from Davis, he had fired a total of six shots, striking him twice in both the abdomen and groin area. I'm still dreaming that I'm Somebody lunging at me, I'm still dodging the bullets. And uh, I'm still, um, it's like I'm still fighting this dude. And uh, if any one of you guys have been in my position fighting for your life, it's a hell of a position, man. And a position that Marks and his lawyer, J. Wendell Gordon, argue he never should have been placed in. Instead of resources officers, resource officers coming to his aid, there were resource officers who ducked for cover. Gordon claims Davis had recently been asked to leave the school twice, yet the school never issued a letter to parents, teachers, or staff alerting them as was customary. Typically, the school had two people assigned to screening visitors as they entered the school, who required them to sign in at the main office. But they had been called to the office where Davis' sister and another girl had earlier been fighting, prompting a conference with their parents to de-escalate their feud. As for a metal detector used to screen students in the morning that was then used to check visitors throughout the day. For some reason, um, they started doing it at the beginning of the year. Then all of a sudden, uh, it wasn't there anymore. Mark's attorney says he hopes to meet with members of the school board to discuss the security lapses and to seek compensation for his clients' injuries, pain, and suffering without filing a lawsuit against the very school system Mark's risk his life for as the student's only obvious line of defense when it counted the most. I'm um, very angry and disappointed. And uh, what's keeping me is my faith. And uh, I wouldn't want nobody to be in the position that I was in. And um, I wouldn't want nobody to feel this pain that I'm getting. Mark says he's worked for the school system for 26 years now, and he also hopes the system revisits its decision not to arm school police in light of the shooting. All right, Jeff.